My name is Beverly Clack and I'm visiting professor in the Humanities Centre. There are two things that are keeping me going during this coronavirus crisis. The first is Hilary Mantel's book, her last book in the trilogy to do with the life of Thomas Cromwell, and it's called The Mirror and the Light. Um, as you can see, it's a very thick read, which is very helpful during difficult times. And the second is a book of poetry by Mary Oliver, who's a nature poet. And there's a poem of hers that I find particularly helpful at the moment because it enables me to connect with the natural world and also particularly with that sense of newness that comes with a fresh morning. And it's called Morning Poem. Every morning the world is created. Under the orange sticks of the sun, the heaped ashes of the night turn into leaves again and fasten themselves to the high branches and the ponds appear like black cobs on which are painted islands of summer lilies. If it is your nature to be happy, you will swim along with the soft trails for hours, your imagination alighting everywhere. And if your spirit carries within it the thorn that is heavier than lead, if it's all you can do to keep on trudging, there is still somewhere deep within you a beast shouting that the earth is exactly what it wanted. Each pond with its blazing lilies is a prayer heard and answered lavishly every morning, whether or not you ever dared to be happy, whether or not you have ever dared to pray. I like that because it reminds us that actually there is a world out there and it keeps going regardless of what's happening. Take care through this difficult time.